If you like this video, please consider making a donation to Ability. Their mission is to create a culture of understanding, awareness, advancement, and advocacy for individuals with disabilities. Check out their website at abilityerg.org. Hello again, my friends. Eric Pearson here with another demonstration of Production Line. I have a few friends in the UK who enjoyed the last video I did of this game and were interested in seeing what I could do to make my assembly line more efficient. So to my friends in the UK, this one's for you. Now, I've done some experimentation, and I hope you like the result. So I'm going to load up what I have so far. Now, I specifically did not complete everything. I didn't want you all to wait 20 minutes while I did a whole lot of pointing and clicking like I did in the last video. So I've laid out the various stations. I don't have all of the conveyor belts lined up or the resourcers. We'll get to that in a minute. First, I want to share with you how I've laid things out and why. I'm going to start by turning off the uh, warnings. And I'm also going to pull up the build menu so that we can compare as we go along. So I started out with the axles front and rear. So we've got the front axle and the rear axle. And then we've got the drive shaft. And then we branch out into two paths to keep uh, backlogs from forming with the axles. So these next pathways are cloned. So we have the undercarriage here and here. We have the fuel tank here and here. Then we have the body. So expanding this menu, we have the body shell, which is under body frame. So we have the body shell here and here. We have the hood here and here. Then we have the trunk here and here. Now I could have gone deeper into the menus, but I'm also trying to conserve space. So this I hope is a good compromise. Then we're fitting the bumpers and then the bottom trim. Then, moving along, we're fitting the arches, then the vent, then we're fitting the roof. And then we take a 90 degree turn, go around, and now we're going to fit the door panels. This is under doors here. We have the door panels here and here, and then we have the windows and the wing mirrors. And now we get into paint. Now paint takes a long time, which is why I upgraded all the technology to run as efficiently as possible. We have the paint undercoat. We have the dry undercoat. The paint finish. The dry finish. And then the polishing the paintwork. Now we get into fitting the engine, and I've split that into multiple stations. We have fitting the powertrain, the radiator, the exhaust. Then we have the wheel assembly, the steering assembly. And now we get into accessories. So we have the lights, the horn, then coming around this is the internal uh ring here now we have the seats the windscreen the air conditioner now within dashboard we have the cabin and the controls so cabin here and controls here then we get into the electronics and the electronics is composed of fitting the electrical components here and here and then fitting the computers here and here. And then these two branches collapse into one for quality control. So we have the visual inspection, the performance check, the emissions check. We have a station to rework and uh, fix any defects we find. And then one more generic quality check to make sure everything is still good. 
And then we come around into a single conveyor down to paperwork and rapid shipping. Now, if I want to, I can put another export station here if I really need it. Now, while I'm thinking about it, we haven't done resourcing yet. I'm going to pause this. And now we're going to put in another resource importer here and another one here. So now the next step for me is to build a grid of uh, resourcers to get everything hooked up. So let's do that now. So we've got all these blinking indicators. Oh wait, I could put a resource importer here as well. All right, so let's run. Okay. And let's run another line here and here and here. And then another line here. Okay, getting closer here. I know this takes a little bit of work. I know this setup won't win me any beauty contests, but if it gets the job done, that's what matters. Now, let's see. Do we have any warnings here? Okay. First, let's unpause. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of stations that are awaiting resources. Then there's one where there are no connections. So I've got to fix that. Okay, so now they're all saying waiting for resources. That's good. So while we're waiting for resources, I can start laying my conveyor tracks and actually get things running. So this won't take long. Okay, so far so good. Almost there. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Okay, so we've got one diverting now because 
things are moving a little slower on this line. And this is what I want. I want multiple pathways to keep the slowdowns to a minimum. And you can see we're doing pretty good over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by... We're going to... Yeah, this one's moving along pretty well. I just want to make sure this goes all the way through. Let me fast forward a little bit. So things go as I hope. Just make sure there are no slowdowns here or stoppages. Yeah, things are going pretty well. Okay, so that's good. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to follow this car here through the entire assembly process. Okay, got the drive shaft. Got the undercarriage. And I'm gonna keep an eye out for defects here. Okay, putting on the fuel tank. Okay, time to put on the roof. Looks like we've got a slight slowdown here, probably because of the painting process, but not bad. Yeah, the paint is slowing things down a little bit, but still not bad. Let's keep following it along.
Let's fast forward a little bit. So far, it looks like things are being resourced fairly efficiently. Now, once we get out the other side of the painting process, I think things will move a little faster. So it looks like my car is green. You know, I wouldn't mind a Hunter Green car. Of course, this isn't Hunter Green. Okay, looks like we're fitting the uh, powertrain and engine. Now the radiator. And the exhaust. So far, no defects. Yeah, now we're moving pretty good. Oh, not as many robots on here. I guess I missed that. Still moving pretty good. Here, I'll slow it down a little bit. Yeah, we don't have as much of a slowdown here in this part. Now doing the visual inspection. So here's my completed car, free of defects and headed for export. And off it goes. So with the exception of some slowdowns in the paint process, I'd say this is a fairly efficient assembly line. So I'd say we did the best we could with the limited space that we had. I suppose it's possible that I could do a more efficient assembly line with an even larger physical space. So who knows, maybe I'll explore that in a future video. But for right now, thank you very much for watching, and join me next time. Eric Pearson, signing off.